A startup says it will release a lithium-ion battery capable of powering an electric vehicle for up to 600 miles, effectively shattering the ceiling of its competitors. Only time will tell, however, if the company can deliver on its promises, as Inalith said it may take another 3 to 5 years to launch the battery. The Swiss startup says it has patents pending for the 1000 watt hours per kilogram battery. At that rate, it nearly triples the endurance of the Panasonic produced battery currently used by the Tesla 3. Elon Musk's electric vehicle technology gives drivers about 300 miles on one charge. Inalith's battery is also capable of packing an even bigger punch than a battery being developed the US Department of Energy, which is targeted for 500 watt hours per kilogram. The electric vehicle revolution is currently stymied by the limitations of available batteries, said CEO of Inalith, Sergei Bukin in a statement. Consumers want an adequate range on a single charge in an affordable electric vehicle, and confidence that it is not going to catch fire. The Inalith energy battery is the breakthrough technology that potentially can meet all these needs, he added. The secret to Inalith's battery, is the use of what the company calls a specially designed inorganic electrolyte. The electrolyte, according to a report from The Verge, is what one company executive calls salt-like materials. In addition to providing drivers with a longer charge, Inalith says that their technology would also be safer than current wet lithium-ion batteries, that involve the use of volatile chemicals, which are prone to fires. While Inalith's claims are eye-grabbing, the company says that its product is still currently under development in its Germany lab, and said it will take another three to five years to bring to production. What makes the claims more promising than other lab announcements of its ilk, however, is that currently one of the company's batteries is being tested by power company PJM Grid which operates in Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and more. The company hopes that the test will help solidify its claims, and the battery's efficacy as it looks to bring its innovation to market. In a statement the company also said it is looking to start producing its batteries in Germany, and eventually license the technology to other manufacturer and battery companies. Two representatives for the Electrochemical Society declined to comment to mail online.